Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May the 7th of 2021. Well, it is titled Mercury Redstone 3 launch. So what do we see here? Well, here we have just about 60 years ago on May the 5th of 1961, the flight of Freedom 7, which is really the capsule at the top of this rocket. So just the very uh, top portion of this, the darker area up there contains the capsule. The rest of it contains fuel used to launch it into uh, space. And this was a Mercury Redstone 3 carried um, the astronaut Alan Shepard into space and that was the first spacecraft or sorry it's the first space flight by an American. So what happened again they, that most of that that we look at there where it says United States going down the side of that that is all fuel that is used to lift the rocket up off the surface of the Earth. And it takes a lot of energy to be able to do that because of the Earth's strong gravitational field and the fact that you're also having to push through the atmosphere. So while it is made aerodynamics to, to minimize air resistance, there still is a force when you're traveling at great speeds to get through the uh, through the atmosphere as well. Now, as I said, this was Freedom 7, the capsule at the top, which carried one astronaut, Alan Shepard, as he orbited, well, sorry, did not orbit the Earth. He went in a suborbital flight, which took about 15 minutes, getting up to about 116 miles. So while he ventured into space, he did not actually achieve orbit. So this was an earlier test, and a more powerful rocket was able to, list, to lift John Glenn, uh, after this into the first orbital flight by an American. So even though this rocket may look quite powerful and look like a lot to be able to just lift a single person into space, this was not enough to get someone into orbit. You needed an even more powerful rocket to be able to lift just one person into, into orbit. And now, of course, we have even more powerful rockets. And Alan Shepard was one who actually flew to the moon on the Apollo 14 mission. So on the top of a Saturn V rocket, which was much larger than this and much more powerful, as it was not just getting someone into orbit, but actually away from Earth altogether to travel to the moon. And now, of course, we have larger rockets that can take several people up to the International Space Station at a time. But this here, we're looking at some of the very beginnings of a manned space flight here uh, in our picture for today. So that was our picture of the day for May the 7th of 2021. It was titled Mercury Redstone 3 Launch. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.